Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video which is going to be another video in collaboration with Rapunzel and this is the wrap we're going to do today and I'm going to call this the playful elegance wrap because it is also elegant and it is also playful and it is more playful depending on which scarves you use and more elegant depending on which scarves you use. Anyway, I wore this wrap the first time in last week's uh, new makeup releases video and I'm going to also include a picture of that, that wrap right here. And I thought this, this wrap I actually created just by not thinking while I was wrapping. And this is usually how I create my wraps, honestly. I don't stand there and think, oh, what can I do? What can I do? It's it just happens because I'm distracted by kids running around and getting people dressed in the morning and I don't know what and then I just do something and then sometimes I think afterwards wow how did I do that and then in the evening I have uh, my husband film me how I'm taking it off or I film myself how it looked uh, so I can recreate that that look because sometimes I really don't know how I did it anyway um, so that's <laughs> that's how it happens so that is the wrap that I wore uh, last Wednesday in that video and I did the same wrap in yesterday's video which was a lifestyle video in um, about expanding the kingdom if you want to go and check it out that is the video from yesterday and this is the look that i wore there and it's exactly the same wrap just using different scarves and trying out different things so and today we're going to do it with rapunzel scarves and we are going to use this stellar scarf in red and we're going to use the sari scarf in red so uh this is how it's gonna look and of course i'm going to show you the scarves in depth uh once i have taken them off after the intro and if you're interested in, see in seeing how how we're doing this and seeing the scars then please keep on watching okay my loves welcome to the tutorial part so uh, just have to say <laughs> my kids my three little ones are having a very loud conversation about dinosaurs and fire trucks right now like right there so I hope the the microphone doesn't pick it up too much anyway let's just go into it I uh, I'm wearing the windy shaper which is of course my to go to shaper you can do this wrap also with smaller shapers obviously and you might even have an easier time doing it with smaller shapers I'm gonna tell you a little bit further along in the tutorial why okay so we're gonna start out with this uh, the stellar scarf it looks like this it is red <laughs> it is available in different colors also and it has does that come across it has like golden little specks on it which makes it just super pretty anyway because everything that sparkles it has my name on it so we're going to just put that down on the shaper and I'm going to I'm going to turn to my mirror here a little bit um, I'm going to pull it up a tiny little bit because as you know I always like to just um, double it up here in the front in order to have a cleaner back so let's just do that I'm just going to flip it inwards here in the front so it lines up nicely here in the back and I want to have it hang down more or less the same length on both sides have to adjust that still more or less all right <laughs> getting there okay now I'm going to tie a knot in the back and as far as I th I think this is absolutely essential in this wrap that you have this one knot there's not going to be <laughs> sorry <laughs> uh yeah kids <laughs> I'm trying to not film so much during the night and just do it during the morning hours. So that's why they are they are around. Anyway, so I'm um, tying a knot. Now I didn't pay attention to what I was doing and messed up the knot. One second. There we go. All right. So I think this is absolutely essential to have that one knot because um, otherwise it's just it, it will not hold on your head. Okay, so now we have this. This is how it looks and both ends are hanging down equally. So next thing is the sari scarf and uh, that is very new to my collection. Actually also this Dallar scarf, I just got that from Rapunzel and this is a sari scarf in red and everybody who knows me knows how much I love sari scarves and everything that has those fringy ends because that's just magic. No matter what you do with those scarves, it creates magic. So uh, that's why I was so super excited when Rapunzel sent me this and um, I think Yesterday, when I'm filming this yesterday, I think I saw a, a post from Rapunzel on Instagram. Shh. 
<laughs> on Instagram that they have added even more colors to the Sari scarf collection. I think it said that they are having 17 colors now, which is Mm. All right, so um, I'm going to put this sari scarf down behind my head and I'm just laying it down so it hangs down equally. And now I'm choosing one side and I'm going to just start with this side and I'm just going to twist these two strands like this upwards. Like this. And I'm gonna place it down here and then I'm just going to tuck it in I'm showing showing you in a second I'm tucking it in the back I'm tucking it in in the back like this okay okay so this is super super simple this is really really simple but i think it has a super nice effect okay so now we have the second part right here and i'm actually starting out the same way and this this wrap also because of the sari scarves it just turns out a tiny little bit different every single time because it depends on how this sari scarf folds up really uh, because of the the, the nature of the sorry scarf. Let's put it that way. Okay, so I'm going to twist this and I'm not going to do a tight twist. Uh, this is more of a loose, loose kind of twist, okay? And I'm going to place that behind that first twist that we put down. And then when we reach about to here, I'm going to open it up. I'm holding it here with my hand and I'm going to open it up and I'm going to bring down first the st stellar scarf because that is a little bit shorter because we uh, sort of wasted material on tying the knot and all of that and also we wrapped it from the top down and not from the bottom up from the bottom up right like the sari scarf okay so that's why it appears a little bit sh uh, shorter so I'm going to place this down now so it is, it will not cover the whole uh, Wendy shaper. So that is the point where I wanted to tell you that if you're using a smaller shaper, you're going to have it easier because that will then probably reach down to here <laughs> where you have to tug it in. But if you have a bigger shaper, then just use, do it like I do right now. I can just place down this dust, yeah, wow, the stellar scarf <laughs> and then I'm using what is here of the sari scarf and I'm just draping that a little bit above the stellar scarf and sort of holding it in place like this okay so now what I'm gonna do is that I am placing I'm going to turn around and show you in a second. I just want to first explain to you what I'm doing. I am going to um, place that sari scarf that is holding down the stellar scarf. I'm going to tuck that in right here in uh, behind that first twist that we put down. I hope this makes sense to you. And then I'm going to bring it up here. So first of all, I'm going to show you that I'm tucking it in. like this and this is really just to hold it in place because now I can let go and it it doesn't move anymore okay something like this and then I'm going to take this end which is not a lot anymore but that is okay because we don't need much more and then I'm just going to bring it up behind this first twisted row that we put down behind it like this and then I'm just tucking it in and let those ends these fringy ends stick up a little bit so in order for it to not be too playful but like still elegant i'm not going to let them stand out a lot just a little bit like this okay so when you remember that first wrap that i did uh, in those green uh, khaki tones then you will see that that turned out a little bit differently because that um the shimmery green scarf that i used is a rather stiff scarf and of course it does not have those fringy edges fringy uh, ends <laughs> yeah okay um so that means that it looked a little bit more uh 
like a flower or something. It depends really what scarves you use. But if you have something that is a little bit more stiff, that might actually also give you a very, very nice effect. So of course, sari scarves, as I said, this is it's the it's the sari scarf magic that happens there. It always turns out different, it always turns out nice, and it is just super beautiful no matter what you do. So you you can only win with sari scarves. <laughs> anyway, so this is how it looks. I'm just gonna let me just check if this is half decent. Just tr trying to figure it out with my hands, I think, because I have not seen it from the back, obviously. So I'm just gonna turn around. And this is how it looks. And this is the wrap for today. And I think um, I think this is super, super brilliant. Honestly, not because I made it up. Maybe I didn't even. Maybe someone else did the same thing already and I just don't know. Anyway, um, I think though that this is super pretty and really depending on what color scheme you go for and maybe if you do not use a sari scarf but a little bit more like a more sophisticated scarf, then you, I think you could even use that for like official solemn occasions even you know because i do really believe that this is super elegant just imagine that first wrap that i just pointed out the green one and i'm just going to try to also always include the pictures here so you remember which one i'm talking about um if you were to use that one for example in black and i don't know a gray or something you could use that for a like a i don't know a wedding if, if that is the kind of wedding you, you go to where you are wearing black or something just saying that you can always play with the color schemes you can always play with the scarves you do not have to have a red and yellow fire on your head look like I have today <laughs> anyway uh, I love the fire on my head I think maybe I should have called the rebel <laughs> that so this is the playful elegance wrap i really really love it and let me know if you like it if uh what, what your thoughts are about the wrap you can feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below if you are new here then please subscribe to my channel give the video a like if you liked it and of course in the description box you will find all the information about the scars that i use the shaper that i used uh all the contact information about rapunzel my social media my makeup everything is there also of course the information about my affiliate code with Rapunzel if you want to use it up to you it gives you five percent of your order and um, besides that go ahead and sparkle love wrapping love wearing this crown and making the best out of it and just being super super beautiful in all of this so I love this and I'm living this to the fullest and yeah so <laughs> this is my heart given to you i hope you like that and i'll see you here next time for my next video and up until then hugs and kisses bye